I'm just about to start our dinner tonight and I'm doing kind of like a Nando's inspired dish again because we really really enjoy it. I got this spatchcock puri puri chicken in my latest food haul. It was reduced to like three pounds something. If you can hear a noise in the background it's Steve flying some contraption, I don't know, something that hovers. Um, so I'm going to put that in. I've got some chicken thighs in here because this serves four and there's five of us. Um, so I've got five chicken thighs here that I've just marinated in a little bit of lime juice and some puri puri seasoning. Then I'm going to get some halloumi, some avocado wraps, some oven fries and we've also got some chilli jam and some puri puri mayo. So I'm going to pop this chicken in, it says it takes about an hour so I'm going to put that on low and then cook the rest of it. So our chicken has got about 20 minutes left so I've popped the chicken thighs in around it because it's got like all the nice juices and things and they've already been marinated in the puri puri and lime but I'm just going to pop this back in the oven. So here we are plated up, we have got some puri puri chicken, some avocado, we've got halloumi, two plain wraps in a ice cream scoop bowl and then we've got some Nando's sweet chilli jam, some Tesco chilli mayo and we're just going to kind of assemble these as we go, just pull the chicken off the bone and that is what we are having for our dinner tonight. So I'm just about to start making a soup, I thought I had some soup left in the freezer but I didn't. Um, but I haven't got a lot in, so I've got some potatoes, I've got some condensed chicken soup, so obviously I've already got soup. Um, I'm frying some onions in there, and I've got a tin of sliced mushrooms, and I'm going to fry these. I'm going to add some garlic, um, and then I'm going to see what veg I've got, if I've got any peas or sweet corn or anything, and kind of make like a thick chicken and potato soup, more like a stew kind of thing, so it's not just soup on its own. So I'm going to, I've drained these mushrooms, I'm going to put them in. So they crisp up a little bit and then I'm going to add some garlic in there as well. So I've changed my mind, instead of potatoes I've found some frozen gnocchi um, that I had left over in the freezer so I'm just going to pop that in to use that up. And I've also found some peas so I'm going to put that in. And then I'm cooking some sausages, I'm going to chop up a couple of sausages to go in. They are garlic, red wine and rosemary I think so I'm cooking some for the boys lunch and I'm just going to put the extra couple in my sort of soupy thing and this will do a few days which is good just trying to get the mushrooms to brown I've never really used tinned mushrooms before and um, they seem like a good idea at the time but they look a bit pale so I want them to colour up a little bit so I've put everything in my saucepan my gnocchi my peas onions mushrooms garlic and my soup, my tin of chicken soup, and I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. Granted, it doesn't look brilliant yet, but trust me. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. My block of gnocchi has got to defrost. Um, and once I get it to a nice consistency, I can taste it, see if I need to add some chilli or something. And I don't know, it's just like a quick sort of stew kind of thing. It will look better eventually, but it's going to taste good. So I've added my chopped sausage, I've just got two little ones in there and some of this all-purpose seasoning that I put in everything and I'm going to turn that down because it's probably going to burn, mix it through and we're done. So for tonight's dinner I'm going to do these beef chorizo and chickpea burgers that I've had in the freezer, I haven't had them out since the 29th of March um, and I've also got some croquet potatoes in the air fryer and some of these Warburton's brioche buns and I'll show you it once it's all cooking. So here are our 50% beef and chorizo and then 50% like plant based burgers. And we've got some lettuce, some onion, we've got some red Leicester cheese, there's some spicy mayo and some sweet chili jam in there as well. And then there's a few croquet potatoes. <laughs> Steve has placed as though he is in a restaurant, a like restaurant stack of croquet, and then we've also got a little bit of feta cheese on the side, and this is what Steve is having. <laughs> that looks like Jenga. And then I've got some feta, some salad, and some chicken thighs. I'm just not a burger fan, and I've also got some of the Nando sweet chili jam on mine, and this is what we're having for dinner tonight: Jenga, croquet, and burger.
Right, so I have started tonight's dinner in the slow cooker. It's going to be a weird one. I'm basically making a ragu, but I had some pork and beef in the freezer that needed using up, like cooked joints. I also had some stock in the freezer, so I've popped that in there as well. And um, what I'm going to do is add some garlic, tomato puree, some onions, a red wine stock pot, some Worcester sauce, and then I'm just going to mix it all together and leave it on low for about six hours so the meat just goes nice and tender and probably serve it with some pasta, I think. All right, so I've popped it all in and I'm going to give it a good stir and then just pop my lid on and see what it comes out like. Fingers crossed it'll be nice. So here it is all ready to eat and it looks really good. So the pork and the beef has both just combined in the sauce and it's really rich. It smells very tomatoey, very garlicky. And um, we're just going to add a little bit of black pepper and some cheese. And this is what we're having for dinner tonight. We're just making some part-baked pizza rolls for lunch. We've got two part-baked rolls. And I've just put some tomato puree, garlic granules, some tomato, onion and grated cheese. And I'm just going to pop them in the oven. And they'll be like kind of like Subway pizza-y kind of things. Here we are out of the oven. We've just put them under the grill for the last few minutes as well. And then got impatient. That's why they're not completely brown. Um, but I just thought I'd pop this in. So I'm making my tarragon mayonnaise. You're going to have to excuse the noise. We've got the microwave going, Steve's chopping, the chicken's on the grill. Uh, so in here I've got light mayonnaise and some fresh tarragon. So I've just chopped it up and mixed it through. And then what I'm going to add to this is some crushed chilies. I can get the lid open without putting too many in. I'm going to add some onion granules. And some lime juice and then I'm just going to give this a good mix and basically just making this up as I go along which is kind of how I do most things anyway um, and then this will be a nice chili lime and tarragon kind of dressing and what I'm going to do is chop up the chicken that's currently cooking we've got jacket potatoes in the microwave we've got chicken on the grill I'm going to chop that up, I'm going to mix it in with this and then we're going to have it with jackets and salad. So I'll show you it once it's kind of assembled. Right, so here we are. We've got our chicken breast sliced on top of some salad. So we've got lettuce, tomato, cucumber and onion. And we've got our lovely tarragon chicken mayonnaise just going across the top of the chicken breast. And then we've also got a small jacket with a little bit of grated cheese. And this is what we're having for dinner tonight. So for our next meal we had a Friday night pizza night so I got a couple of Chicago town pizzas. I got some of these salt and pepper ridge chips from Tesco which I really recommend if you are ever looking for some nice chunky chips. I did some onion rings and some breaded garlic mushrooms. Just a really nice easy dinner. So here is tonight's dinner and we have got a sweet potato and chickpea salad, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, we've got some onions, some chickpeas and then I've just done some sweet potato in the air fryer and we've got some spicy mayo on top and then we've just added a little bit of the free from vegan cheese on top of that, it's like the chilli one I've got in Tesco, it's really really good so this is what we're having for our dinner tonight we're going to put cheese on this one but we haven't because you can't see any of the ingredients otherwise so lastly I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of a standalone cook with me video I've got coming up on this channel on Sunday. I made some tandoori chicken burgers topped with the most amazing healthy sweet potato and onion bhajis, topped with halloumi cheese, mango chutney, lettuce all wrapped up in a flatbread. And I just thought it was too nice to put this in a Meals of the Week video. I wanted to make sure that everyone could follow the recipe and I can write the ingredients in the description box. So if you're interested in seeing how I make this then check back on Sunday. And until then, take care guys.